What up? All right, I'm going to show you guys how to make a bus bar for a battery bank. I'm sure everyone already knows, but for those who don't, I'm actually going to do something different on this bus bar that I haven't done as of yet. Is I'm going to countersink the charging posts and then I'm going to aluminum braze them basically like a torch weld to fill that in to make it one complete circuit. So that's another connection I don't have. Some, some old satellite and cell phone tower builder dude was telling me the other day that's that's how he does it with AGMs and you know it's quicker charge and whatever the case it can't hurt if it works it works if not it don't hurt so well basically I'm I know I already got this cut it's going to be two foot on each side and then it's all about measuring to get your holes, which I ain't going to hold the camera and do. I'm going to show you a little trick that I, that I figured out because I would measure everything and then drill them. And then I'd still have to move the holes over and all that shit. I guess when they're tightened down, it's a different... I, I don't have no idea. But what I do is, after I got my first one... Say this is the first one. And I want to measure this one. I pretty much just lift it up. Get the whole center. And then just pull the bar to the side. I don't know. Let's see. Pull the bar to the side. And pop it in that way. I'm not constantly taking them off, taking them, taking them on and off. But it seems it, it works. Alright. So now we lay that on there. Make sure it fits. Bam. And I just got that last one. I'm going to keep this side out a little, I decided, because I'm going to, that's where I'm going to weld. So I want one welded and then another ground coming in onto the first post. And then opposite side, I'll do the, the same thing. First charging line, post. First charging line and then the post. That way I complete a circuit coming in and going out. Let's see if you can see that. in pretty good so now I'll weld it I don't know if you can see it really shitty job um, it's all filled in though Woo! god damn don't touch that holy shit Alright, well I just welded and test fitted. I'm going to clean that up a bit. As you can see, it's all pretty much one. It's not the prettiest. I mean, it was my first attempt ever at brazing. But 
it looks like I'll be able to clean clean that up a bit. Matter of fact, I'm gonna throw a wire on, make sure. That's pretty good. I'll probably just heat it and clean it a little. Probably don't even need to, but it's there. And pretty much everything I got here is from Home Depot. Um, the aluminum bar, I think it's a quarter inch by one inch by four foot. The aluminum brazing rods. And of course, the torch. But, uh, you know, if you watch some videos on brazing, you really got to heat the metal so hot that when the rod touches it, it melts. So, but, oh man, that's strong. Alright, that's it, man. Hope you enjoy it. All in all, I think it took me half an hour without the brazing to do them.